Sleep, 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 sleep. Sometimes blur it in your Jeep so your peeps can stare at the rhymes. Real rhymes, not your everyday holograms. Right, so that didn't work out in it because I actually hand. had this my SSD plugged in using. <laughs> anyway, life hack. Reason being, it saves you a lot of money, right? So cool. What is this? This is my SSD which Jamo gave me the idea of actually, I saw it um, at his yard first. Um, so shout out Tech Jamo again. But yeah, I needed the SSD so that I could store my media on and throughout this content creation thing, also have somewhere to back up my stuff, right? Cool. So the last SSD that I bought was this SanDisk SSD, um, which was like this rugged one. Um, one terabyte, cost me like 100 pound, yeah? Cool. Great read and write speeds. Um, so essentially, problems that I was having is transferring data between one computer or one device to another and it taking forever. So specifically with my PC that I've got, my PC case doesn't have USB-C, it only has USB-A. Thankfully, it has USB-3 and USB-2. So basically, I'm now limited to the speeds of what USB 3 can actually, you know, achieve versus your USB-C or USB 3.2s that can achieve a higher transfer rate. So when it comes to me shooting a YouTube video and transferring it from my PC to my Mac, I was waiting for time for it. So I said, right, it's time to get SSD so I can get quick read and write speed. Anyway, Christmas came. I got an Amazon voucher, shout out to Ellery's. Um, and essentially, I found a deal where I could get this SSD enclosure, which was 13 pound. And then an SSD, which granted it was 500, uh, 500 gigs of SSD, but that's calm for what I'm using it for. Um, and the 500 gig SSD uh, M.2 cost me like 35 pounds. So for about 50 quid, I was able to get myself, you know, an enclosure and an SSD. What's the benefits of having an enclosure rather than a ordinary SSD? A few things. If the SSD inside the enclosure fails or has a problem, you can just replace it. If you find out that you need more memory, you can just get a larger SSD as well. Generally speaking, the SSD itself, so I'm talking about like the SSD stick, the one that looks like, you know, the bare bones SSD, um, is cheaper to get than an SSD with a built-in enclosure, right? That's it. Um, I was skeptic at first, cause I was like, bro, like, what about the durability, blah, 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 but bro, the SSD is not really going anywhere outside of a bag or just in your own workspace, right? So it's not that deep. So yeah, man, I thought this was a good one to share. Um, it actually works really well. Was easy enough to set up. If you are beginner level tech bro, <laughs> um, you might feel a little bit, what's the word? Uh, daunting to get one of these because you're like, you've got to set this up yourself, right? So what I mean by that is, you've got to open up the enclosure, which I didn't know how to do on this particular one. I'll link it in the bio, but it could be a bit confusing. There's a little arrow here, yeah? And that arrow, just you gotta slide this, this to the left, and then that comes out, and then you're able to, yeah, like take the case off like this. I shouldn't even really be doing this, um, but this is what it kind of like looks like. And then the SSD, you can see, you know, like the SSD is in there, right? That green thing you can see in it, and you gotta screw it down or whatever. So, yeah. The other thing, you've got to apply um, thermal paste onto the SSD. Look, the instructions you get will allow you to do that, calm and simple, but in my, in my time, I've opened up a few laptops, done a few repairs myself, so I'm comfortable with doing that. If you haven't done that, you might be thinking, what the hell is this? But it's simple, it's calm. So if you want to save yourself some money on getting yourself an SSD, go and get yourself an enclosure and an actual separate SSD itself. You can get great read and write speeds. You can get really good deals on standalone SSDs versus your commercial SSDs you'll get from the likes of Curry's and, you know, Argos and that. So yeah, man, um, this has been good. It's USB-C, this particular enclosure. 
um, which is nice. So, yeah, it gives you the freedom to have different, um, you know, like ports and stuff like that that you'd want on there. But yeah, man, that's it, bruv. Have a blessed week, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.